I decree and declare in the mighty name of Jesus that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. I believe in my heart that Jesus died on the cross and rose again to save us from our sins and I know that Jesus loves you very much. Let us all lift up our hands and say out loud that Jesus Christ is Lord. Good morning boys and girls. Welcome to WFGC Live. Today we are going to have a lot of fun and we're going to learn some stories. Hello Auntie Warner. Hi. It's us again, the sisters and friends. We're going to sing a song about the joy of the Lord. Yes, so it's time to jump up and you're going to sing along with us. Yes. you open up your hearts and enjoy God's word together with us. What are some of the things that make you happy? Maybe it's watching a movie or something you enjoy. Maybe even amusement parks. Sometimes people will go to an amusement park to make themselves feel happy. Maybe going down a big slab, whoops, or up on the high places and looking down and flying down those roller coasters Woo! and they scream all the way down to get a momentary little bit of happiness but the kind of joy that we're speaking about is not just the temporary kind of happiness it's a kind of joy that comes deep from within your soul that no matter what the situations are going around about you you know that the joy of the Lord is inside of you and he can make you strong and he can make you happy. In John chapter 15 and verse 11, the Bible says this, See, things I have spoken to you, this is Jesus talking, he says that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be full. God wants us to have our joy full. And how? How do we have our lives full of the joy of the Lord? Well, if you spell the word joy, J-O-Y, the top one is Jesus. We always put Jesus first. Then there's the O, others. We pray for others. We put others before ourselves and our own needs. We pray for other people who are needing help and then the why for you you pray then for yourself and if you will put jesus first and then others and then yourself 
you'll start having a real joy that bubbles up from deep inside your soul. In Psalms chapter 16 and verse 11, it says, You will make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy. And in your presence, there is fullness of joy. And at your right hand, there are pleasures evermore. Isn't it wonderful to have the joy of the Lord to be our strength? Lord, I pray for everybody watching this morning that your joy will give them a supernatural strength that comes only from knowing you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I decree and I declare in the mighty name of Jesus, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Ah, Jesus loves me very much. I believe in my heart that Jesus died on the cross and rose again to save me. I lift my hands and I say out loud that Jesus Christ is Lord. 